If you want to stand out from the crowd and actually be remembered for the work that you do in this video, we're going to talk about the most important habit that you can create to ensure that happens. Because most people I see making content are not doing this. In fact, if your morning routine consists of hopping onto school and seeing how everybody's making 10K per month, studying what everyone else is doing, and simply regurgitating your version of that onto the internet, I'm going to make a prediction right now that the ceiling on your career is low. Before you get pissed off, just know I'm including myself in this assessment, which is why I'm making this change too. Because I've realized that I spend all this time looking at what everyone else is doing and kind of synthesizing people's ideas. Russell Brunson said this, Dean Graziosi says to do that. Here's my take on it. But I've been ignoring a strong intuitive feeling that I have to go deeper, to share thoughts and ideas dwelling within me that I wouldn't normally talk about. To spend time writing about things and fleshing out ideas that I have that I may not have necessarily ever shared publicly before. But if I don't allow myself time to do that, I end up feeling like I'm on this hamster wheel of surface level content creation around my niche of helping creators grow their businesses. And I'm going to continue doing that, but I'm also going to honor the side of me that wants to go deeper. I believe that this is the difference between someone who is just another carbon copy of everyone else versus a thought leader or a creator who is actually remembered for the work that they do. Someone who pioneers new thoughts and ideas. Because you think about that term thought leader, it basically means someone who is leading the way with their thoughts. I've got some new thoughts that no one's really brought to the table before. You think about like when Tim Ferriss wrote the four hour work week, he was a thought leader essentially with that book. Everyone said, oh my gosh, I've never thought about this idea of lifestyle design before. Now everybody is all about that and he was one of the pioneers. Another example would be Martin Luther King, who is most famously known for his I Have a Dream speech that he gave in Washington, DC on August 28th, 1963. In that speech, he shared new thoughts, new ideas, called for an end to racism. He shared his vision for the future, a way of thinking that he encouraged everyone to adopt. You can see the impact that that is made to this day. I think if you're really gonna be known for the ideas and thoughts that you have, you've gotta put the best of yourself out there, the deepest stuff, the stuff that you're a little scared to say. And I think you also have the chance to bond with your audience a lot more when you go deep. In fact, some of my best friends, we really bonded that one night where we stayed up too late drinking beers on the back patio and we had a really deep conversation. When we left, we looked at each other and said, this was awesome, man. And it was because we bonded through a deeper connection of alignment with the way that we thought. And so if you put the deeper side of yourself out there, you have a higher chance of creating deeper bonds with your audience. And yes, there is a time and a place for looking at what your competitors and your peers are doing and seeing what's working, but all of that is relatively surface level. And what I believe underpins your success is your ability to develop your own unique ideas, pioneering ideas that will lead your industry, your market, your niche, whatever it is, to the next level of evolution. Just like you can't build a healthy body without high quality food, you can't build a healthy thought leader type of business without high quality fresh ideas. So here's a couple of questions I'm thinking about and I invite you to think about as well. How much time per day are you spending developing your own ideas? How much time per day are you carving out to shut out all the noise and just open up a blank document and write and get out some stuff that you've been thinking about and you feel like you want to shout it from the mountaintops and some of your biggest epiphanies and life wisdom really starting to shape some of that into material that you can put out there for others to benefit from. People say that if you want to achieve your goals, you gotta really go for it. You gotta swing for the fences. Well, I'm encouraging you to swing for the fences relative to the depth of ideas that you decide to share with the world. I believe this is the way that you can truly be remembered for the thought leader 
that you are, make the biggest difference in the world, and potentially even make the most money. What if before you checked your email every morning, you spent one hour fleshing out and developing your own unique ideas, not the stuff that you are learning right now, but things that you already know, you've known for years, but maybe you've never shared. I'm gonna try this too, so if you are scared, just know that you won't be alone. My gut tells me you have a lot more wisdom inside of you to share, and I encourage you, let that stuff out. There's one video related to this that you're going to love. It's the one thing that I think everyone should do before they die. You can check that out here. Please subscribe. I will see you soon.